friends, welcome to my channel Biomania. I am your biology teacher and friends, here I am to clear your all doubts, your all questions, concepts which are continuously bothering your mind related with the biology and I am going to clear all of them. And believe me, after watching these videos, you will realize that biology can be that much interesting. We can study biology in that much interesting way. So friends, are you ready for this exciting journey? Let's start our first topic that is the prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cell. In this topic, we are going to study between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells the similarities first and after that we will study the difference between them and we will also take a look of genetic material of these two type of cells and after that we will point out the complete things which a prokaryotic cell doesn't contain okay are you ready for this tour let's start before starting that i'm going to tell you an important thing that is the cell why we are saying it prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so let's see the division and why we are naming them as a prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell here you can see that pro means primitive primitive means it's in a very starting phase it's a starting one and here the means of carry on means nuclear and here the meaning of carry on is nucleus so it means the cells which contain a very starting phase nucleus that is known as the prokaryotic cell i think now it's clear to you now come towards the eukaryotic cell here the meaning of you is true real you can say and the same meaning of carry on is the nucleus so the cell which contains a true or you can say a complete well developed nucleus that type of cell is known as the eukaryotic cell now comes toward the similarities between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell so there are so many things which are similar in both type of cells here you can see the few one of them which are very very important from the point of view of exams the first thing is that is the plasma membrane because this is the outer covering of the cell which is present in both type of cell here you can see it is present in eukaryotic cell and as well as in the prokaryotic cell it is present now comes toward the a semi liquid fluid which is filled inside the both type of cell in which the cell organelles float in the case of eukaryotic cell the cell organelles will float and in the case of prokaryotic cell the genetic material or you can say ribosomes etc float in that semi liquid fluid and we have named that semi liquid fluid as cytoplasm the next thing which is common in between them is the the next thing which is common in both type of cell is the genetic material that is the dna definitely in prokaryotic cell it is present in the free form in the free form and in the case of eukaryotic cell it is present inside the nucleus and chromosomes so the genetic material the so the presence of genetic material in both cell that is the common thing or you can say that is the similarity between them now come towards the ribosome yeah both type of cells contain ribosome and which ribosome present in which type of cell we will see that later guys okay so i think these points are clear to you all now come towards the difference between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell here you can see that or we can say that before starting the comparison of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell we must know about the organisms which are you can or which you can say that which are the prokaryotes and which are the eukaryotes so when we talk about the organisms of prokaryotes they are monera or just like eubacteria 
and uh, archaebacteria or you can say the all types of bacteria are comes in prokaryotic cell and when we talk about the eukaryotes it contains the protist fungi plants animals a very big group it's a very huge group okay so the eukaryotes have a very big family and we cannot say that prokaryotes have a small family they also have a very big family but they are different with each other now come towards after knowing the organism of both type of cells now come towards the level of organization whether it is single cell or it is multicellular or you can say it is a single cellular so when we talk about the prokaryotes it's single celled organisms you can say the single cell contain the all kind the single cell is capable to do the all kind of life processes and when we talk about the eukaryotes they also contain the both single cellular and multicellular organism in the case of single cellular they generally are protist just like amoeba paramecium etc and in the case of multicellular organism they are just form of tissues and organs just like plants so many kinds of plants animals we are the biggest example of the multicellular organism now after watching the organization level of organization we are going to see the typical cell size 